All right, guys, what is going on? David Hammond here. I'm here with the man, Jesse Ross. What Yo. is up? Now, as context, guys, we're here in my basement in the bar section. Now, if you guys noticed, we made a video before called Interior Videography, where we shot B-roll of this bar. I'll put the card here. Beautiful little video, but we didn't get photos. So, Jess and I were thinking, let's do a photo shoot here, right? I feel like we can really make it work, and to add on top of that, I usually don't use props, but this morning I was playing around with uh, kind of props, CDs, prisms, and stuff like that, and I grabbed a CD. So, what I'm thinking of doing, guys, is with this bar to add an extra sense of visual interest, we're gonna do some stuff with this. So with that said, before getting into all the tips and tricks, let's get a B-roll clip going. Hope you guys enjoy, let's do it. And all right, guys, welcome back to another voiceover with the GoPro on my head. Hope you guys enjoyed the video using this CD. Um, I didn't use it in all the shots, but I think you guys can tell which shots I did use it with. We got tons of reflections, rainbows, just very abstract looking things. And I was actually very impressed as that was my first real time using the CD with video. Okay, so we're getting straight into the photos, the portraits. So my first shot, you can literally see me, you know, should I hold it up, down, sideways? You got to experiment, right? You have to see what, what's working. And the reason I say that, guys, is because every single shot would have noticed with this CD is different, right? Every single one. If the light, the light's always changing. If you hold it downwards, it may reflect the light nicely, but it may not be if it's sideways. You get what I'm saying? Now, for our second shot, what we're doing is I'm asking Jesse, all right, back up, go back into the light. And again, guys, it's trial and error. I have no clue what's going to look best. Is it going to look best top, bottom, left, right? You know, you kind of got to go with it. So what I end up doing is decide, you know what? I think the top for this shot, because the lighting's always always different with every shot, like I said, looks best. So I'm actually balancing it between uh, the camera and my hands in a, in a way, but it works, you know? So that is, I guess, one downside I want to let you guys know is that because you have to hold the CD, your grip with the camera can be a bit shakier, right? Now, this isn't a huge deal if your shutter is fast enough, but... It you know, I'm telling you guys straight up, your grip will not be as solid uh, with holding the CD. You got two things you're holding now. So there may be a bit more shake when you're taking the photo, et cetera, et cetera. So just be aware of that, okay? It's really not a big problem, but I'm letting you know, like it is something to definitely keep in mind. So for the next shot, this was actually our favorite shot. We got Jesse just leaning down kind of hunched over onto the bar. And what I did is, again, guys, setting up. I have no clue how this is going to turn out, so I'm just experimenting. Should I hold it downwards? I start slowly, uh, you know, kind of figuring it out, experimenting. And then what I do is I, I hold it sideways. And that was it. That's when I was like, hold up. I think I got something here. What we did is we created a mirror reflection of Jesse, so him standing or uh, crouching over just like that, we had a reflection of him, almost like he had a twin or like he, something was growing out of him um, on his left and his right side, which just looked amazing to us. This was awesome. Like this, oh man, this was the golden shot for us. Like we were so stoked. He just looked like a Scarface, you know what I mean? Um, some like mob gangster boss. I don't know. That's just what we thought, what we said to each other. So the last shot here, guys, we now switch places. Jesse's now outside of the bar and I'm inside and this is actually where um, I this is, I, I poke the uh, the camera through the hole of the CD. I figure, you know what, let's try it. So we do it, and it works. Now, I want to let you guys know that um, it can be tricky. Um, you got to be careful with it, but what it produced was this nice, hazy vignette around Jesse. And the reason I think this works so beautifully is because Jesse uh, was drinking from the glass, so it looked like maybe he was drunk or he was miserable. Like, you know, he's at a bar drinking alone. He's, he's, he's in thought. Maybe he was depressed. So this haze around him just kind of made him look like he was in like a dream world or a bubble or he was like, re reflecting back on his past. You know, it was really just that, a hazy vignette, but he was crystal clear in the middle. So I think 
for uh, this photo. It works beautifully. So that's it, guys. I want to finish it off there. I really hope this video helps you guys. Go out, use a CD or a prism, and try it yourself. See if you like it or not, because it's not for everyone, right? And uh, yeah, so that's it. Hope you guys learned something. With that, I want to thank you all for watching. I will see you now back on the main camera. And with that, um, that's it. So much love. Peace. Hey guys, we are back home. It is a quite a few days later. Um, and yeah, finished up editing the photos, the videos, the video right here, which you have just seen. And this is the outro, so I just want to finish it up um, on this note, because if you've been a subscriber for a while or a follower, you understand that, first off, I'm generally an outdoor photographer, but second off, I usually don't use props in my photos or videos, and I stay true to that 100%. And I, I simply that's just because I don't really believe in them. I think that a lot of the beauty is already inherent in the area you have, the area you have, whether that be a cafe or an outdoor spot or wherever. And there's no need for props. If you understand the basics being composition, lighting, story, flow, there's absolutely no need. And I still believe that now. Although there are certain times where props can enhance that. Right, maybe give the area life. So it's similar to me being outdoors, maybe using a leaf in front of the lens for a portrait, right, to add that sense of depth. It's quite similar to this. Do you need it? No, absolutely not. Can it help? Yeah. But it can also take away from the photo or video, so I want to really drive that home to you guys. Using props can either add or take away from your video, so be very aware of that and careful when you use the prop as shown here. So that's it. I want to thank you guys for watching. I just wanted to let you know you don't need to use props, um, but they can help if you understand your foundation of work. But that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you all in the next one. If you guys did like this video or it helped, give it a thumbs up. You guys can subscribe. Videos all in photography, videography, my life. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one, right? So till then, much love. Peace.